Hey guys, it's Christy again. Today I filmed for you a foundation contour highlight routine. I changed it up a little bit with a few new products, so I don't know exactly how they wear, so if you're wondering, like, is that your holy grail product? Maybe, it may not be, I don't know. There's a hair on my lip. I hope you guys enjoy. It is not a talk through tutorial, it is a voice over tutorial. I did that because my husband kept coming out and I can't film and just keep editing and blah. It's a lot really awkward when he's home too. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I will see you at my next video. So first I start off and I am using my Benefit the Porefessional Primer. It's brand new. I don't I don't know much about it. I know it has a very strong citrusy scent and I don't notice that it made much of a difference after I used it this day but um, you know I did it nonetheless so that's one of the steps. And then I'm using my new Tarte Full Coverage Amazonian Clay Foundation and this is very full coverage. I feel like it covers every single blemish that I have on my face. It's good though. I really like it. Um, so far it does kind of give a matte finish but it also has a sort of glowiness to it so it's definitely worth trying out I think I think it'd probably be better suited for I don't know dry skin I don't know don't even ask me I don't know anything right now um then I am using the Maybelline instant age rewind I have it I I wanted to use my mac pro longwear concealer but sadly it's gone and I'm just obviously putting that in the places that I want to be a little bit more coverage and covered up and this is the Sephora micro some micro something I'm really helpful with this voiceover uh this is the Sephora powder anyway <laughs> that's that and I'm just powdering my face because lately I have been a freaking oily mess I don't know what the hell is with my face but it is oily and this stuff helps a lot so I am putting it all over my face and I'm using it with a damp beauty blender then I'm just setting everything with my Scandinavia Bridal Makeup Setting Spray. I seriously don't know if this works either, guys. Like, I don't feel like any of these products are, like, miracle products for me. I'm holding up the Hoola from Benefit and the NYX Tote Blush. And I'm using the Benefit Hoola because I just wanted to be, like, really bronzy this day. I've been watching a lot of Battle Lash lately from Battle Lash Beauty. And she has, like, the bronziest, most beautiful face. And I'm just trying to copy her because, you know, she's amazing. All right, there's the line. We're done with the tutorial. All right, bye. <laughs> just kidding. I'm hilarious, right? I know. I'm I'm just hilarious. Anyway, I'm just putting the Hula Bronzer in the contours of my face and blending it out with my Hula Bronzer brush that comes with it because I actually think this is the best. I've used lots of different brushes with it, and this is the one I prefer out of all of them. So, yeah. Look at that contour dough. Ooh, sexy. And um, I put it underneath my chin too because I got a double and I like to hide the double if I can. So I also put it under there. And you can kind of see the major difference that it makes contouring your face. But I do up on my temples, the hollows of my cheeks, and down on my jawline. Some people don't do the jawline part, but I think it really helps me. And in a second, you will seriously see the difference that it makes contouring your jawline compared to the other side of my face. So I do like this bronzer. I mean, I feel like there's lots of good bronzers out there. Use whatever you guys have, but you can see here that's not done and that's done. Yeah, it gives me an actual shape to my face as I eat string cheese. And this is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. It is my all-time favorite blush right now. I can't get enough of it. It's so beautiful and gorgeous. And I'm kind of going heavy on the blush today because, like I said, I've been watching a lot of Battle Lash. And that's kind of how she does her blush. And I'm, I'm, ta I'm a tad obsessed right now. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I seriously love her. You should go look at her channel. It's fucking amazing. Sorry about the F. That was probably really loud in your ear. <laughs> Sorry. And this is the Mary Luminizer from the Balm. I'm using this as a highlight because I change the lighting in my videos. You can actually see how much of a highlight this is giving to my cheeks. Look at that. That highlight dough. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. And it looks so good in the light, like shimmer, shimmer, shimmer face. Yeah, I like it. And obviously I'm doing it to both sides. So I'm showing you that. And this next, I'm just lining my lips with this lipstick called Heavenly. I think it's a Maybelline lipstick. I wasn't a huge fan of it, so obviously you can see I changed the color to Palomino from Bite Beauty in just a moment. And I don't show you my brow routine. I just show you that. It's done. I did it because I've shown it before. 
And that's the finished look. It's super, super easy. And that's pretty much how I do my foundation. I change it up a lot. I've been experimenting with a lot of different foundations lately. And uh, I just chose this one for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that voiceover tutorial. Really, it's just showing you how I do it. It's not really a tutorial. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the links are down below. If you would like to see a recent look that I did on my Instagram of Maleficent, I did not film it and do it on YouTube. Maybe I will. I wanna get a little few more costumey things if I'm going to. I post a lot on Instagram, so you guys can go check that out. There's more cats than anything on there, so it's not really that makeup-y. But there are a few makeup looks on there. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. So I will see you guys at my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye. He's nudging me. Like every five seconds, he's nudging me, trying to tell me to come pay attention to him. Oh. He has, um, he's blind, so he doesn't like being held. He like trips out, he's like tripping. He can't handle being held. I don't know if it's because he's blind or I don't know what, what it is, but he like can't handle it. And uh, he wants you to love on him and be around him and snuggle up to him. But the second you pick him up off the ground, he's like, oh fuck no.